The most mysterious places to fish are the ones that other people aren't seeing. And in today's adventure, I meet up with Vince Fishing to show you exactly that. The places that you're driving over and what's right there. What's right in front of your eyes when you're passing over the fairway or you're on your morning or evening commute from work. You think your next fishing destination needs to be a trip out to Montana, but you realize that it's under the highway. Look at this place. Today, however, did not start off fishing at this spot that's now hidden in the archives in New Jersey's most epic fishing holes. We had to put some legwork in. Yeah, this part's gonna remain untelevised. It didn't work out, we had to switch up spots. And then Vince was taking the role as the guide of the trip, brought us to his subscriber's backyard where he asked permission to fish, so we're just walking through this random person's backyard. It's honestly pretty dope. He's inspiring me to uh, start asking permission a little bit more. And hey, you never know what's gonna happen. Like. People are cool, cooler than you might expect. And uh, yeah, we, we fished this bigger river for a minute, didn't catch anything. And then that's how we actually ended up fishing the spot that you're probably watching this video for. I think what you learn in fishing is it's always the spots that people wouldn't expect. It's like the golf courses or, you know, or people are doing other activities when they're not fishing. So we're wandering onto this golf course. It's not just any old golf course. I golfed here with my friend over the spring and I was driving the cart over the cart path over the creek and I look down and see like a 15 inch wild brown <laughs> so obviously I uh, messed up all the shots for the rest of the day just thinking about the trout fishing and how I didn't have my ultralight and I went back a couple weeks later caught some big trout so I was like yo Vince we should check out this creek I barely fished any of it this one there are all right so see how deep it is in here that is crazy so this spot we're pretty much maybe we'll fish on the way out because these guys are here we'll probably just blow this spot we can just take a look see if we see anything in here Dude, this is so deep. yeah you never thought. and they're gonna be all tucked under these clay banks like since the water is pretty clear must be a little like retention pond or some some drainage pond for the golf course i mean look at that rock is that the it's a sick spot yeah so this time of year the trout they like it in slower moving water more they're gonna find them in like the deep cuts like that. Yeah. Since the water's so clear, they might be a little more hesitant, but we'll, we'll see um, as we go up. Under this bridge is pretty good. That's where I saw the first trout that I uh, caught a glimpse of in here. We might just have to go past it though, cause <laughs> we don't wanna get, yeah, they're gonna be like, hitting right over this. We'll just get up in there and then we'll be good. We can fish this on the way out. Okay. Now I'll just hope they don't take a bad shot, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> be a good epic fail if you fell. <laughs> it's funny, this creek, it, it looks a lot different than the last time I fished it because when the water gets so high, it pushes all the sediment down. Like this was a big pool when I, came, when I yeah. first fished it. Now it's like, no, nah, there's probably nothing in here. So we started wandering up the river. I probably don't need to mention this, but I did get a new camera. You can probably tell. Also, like, there's Loving these, these uh, wonky angles, you know. Bring some spice to the fishing as we're going up the creek. See, so yeah, I'm looking at this water like, oh man, it, it's not looking very oh, good. Like Flows are really oh, low. Yeah. The pools are shallow. They've been filled in by all this sediment after the rain. But that's exactly what you don't listen to when you're fishing. Like we even had a bunch of spools tangling. Like odds weren't really in our favor. But this is a point when you keep going. It's like, I've learned that now. It's like, when this is happening, like that's good. Do you're on the right track. <laughs> Just take a couple more steps up the river. Something's about to turn around. This is where I call my biggest one out of here. Yeah. It's filled in a lot. Yeah, I'm curious. But, oh, there he is. Nice, dude. That, that might be, <laughs> Look that at might that bend, fish. man. That just doesn't happen every day. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean, dude. We're about to walk over this fish. There he is. Nice, dude. <laughs> yep, so confidence regenerated. Happens just like that sometimes. So quick. It's like snap of the finger. And I got to check if this is the same fish I landed the first time I fished here because it looked awfully Word for word, familiar. I was going to say, yo, it looks so like out in the open and sandy here. I wonder if they're like just fish cruising like these flats. And You are the man, bro. The <laughs> we're going cool. to get you on one. We're getting you on some browns, Vince. You're going to be catching some bigger than this. Scene. <laughs> it's crazy. That's an awesome fish, Scott. That's a good one, dude. Now well, we're gonna have to see if that's the same big fish I caught in yeah. this exact pool. Like I was Dude. just like, yo, this is a pool. Mind blown. Mind blown. Take a look at this creek. The structure is pretty interesting. You got these clay banks that are carved out by the water. Makes for some really good cover for the fish. And even though the water is clear, the creek's a lot deeper than it looks. Like it's really a perfect trout stream. And the part we're making it up to up ahead just proves that a perfect trout stream can exist in the most imperfect condition. From this point on, the creek runs through like 
eight highway tunnel bridges. Real shallow. And Vince oh, was cool. joking. I was like, yeah, we're going to be walking yeah. through like 50 of these. He yeah. wasn't wrong. Did you see him? This is a highway <laughs> trout creek. On. It's getting deep. I didn't and realize. that's what yeah. we're making up into right now. I'm not, I've never fished up here, so this is all new water for us, Vince. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> we're on the send. <laughs> Oh, 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 that, that's a trout, that's a trout. And one of them just spooked by the wall. Yo, this is a crazy little spot in here. Like, look at the way the tunnel flows in. It might be able to catch one right under, right under that. All right. Oh my God, giant. Got him. No way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're getting some casts in here, dude. I actually didn't mean to catch that. <laughs> That fish just wrecked to do sight fish them. You gotta get the swim bait in there. That's our uh, mainstay highway back there. <laughs> and these fish are under, you're driving over them. Let's go, bro. Nice. Let's get some more. Let's get you on one, bro. I, I just I cast it right by the wall, but you see that little, um, you see that concrete, like the yeah. flat part? They're gonna be right on the side of that, so. Oh yeah, oh, that's gonna work. Man, so I guess these fish really do like the mine. highway because after I landed that one, giant. Vince hooked into one that was, that was so big. way bigger than mine. I mean, Dude, that honestly, was heartbreaker. That was, that was a huge was fish. The biggest of the hour. We'll eat it, get her, we'll eat it. Try. Be as stealth as you can. We kept yeah. at it and uh, we hooked another one. Missed him, just couldn't get the hook sets. And but that's just what Dude, keeps you coming back missed, fishing. I kid you not, dude. Was... Take a moment right now just to Take this place in. Appreciate it. Like <laughs> these are wild trout. This is where Dirty Jersey gets its name, but this is also where it uh, reclaims its fame. I would say. Look at this place. It's like we're in like a the city or something. Now curious for more, and definitely in need of some redemption for Vince, so he could land a big one. We kept on venturing around this concrete jungle. Up the river. Oh, this is the same highway, right? We're just winding. Yeah. Yep. Oh, God, it's so epic. I, mean, I would have never it's thought insane. it looks like that. I mean, it looks like Narnia if you look to your right. <laughs> and then, you know, that's what's really amazing about New Jersey fishing, that like, the contrast. Dude, you showed one spot, one trout spot we go to, and you showed me a whole new perspective, bro. It's like, it's where you'd look all the time, you know? It's like, they're right next You're to where so right. you drive. I'm just do a bit of this highway. Oh, yeah. And like nobody would know that there's like 18 inch rounds sitting there. Yeah, like it's a fly fisherman's dream. Think about all these guys who live in Jersey and they're booking their trips you to like. See how many people when they stock are at the river in their waders? Oh my gosh. No idea too. If somebody knew about it, they wouldn't want to like go through all the hassle of like you got to park your car there, yeah. you got to walk across the golf course. The so chances are you got to dodge a bunch of golfers. It's kind of a pain in the neck to most people. After a little more wandering under like 10 million more of these highway bridges and then 10 million more. We got up to the part of the creek where it looks like we're in the wilderness of the Adirondacks. Yeah, Pretty cool. Missed a couple more fish oh, and then... Was that a big one? Well, you got this one on backup, bro. I'll hand you another ultralight. We knew they're in here. Here, here, here. Okay, I got your backup rod ready. I'll untangle this one. I'm like the, um, I'm like the fishing caddy over here. Dude, I'm over I resumed my honorable position of being the fishing caddy. Vince needed to land one. We weren't gonna stop till he did. So here it goes. I mean, honestly, I kind of like losing a lot of fish. <laughs> Sounds weird, but it's like. <laughs> Thanks for the drive anyway. to make you not want to give up. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened today. We fished, uh, we planned on fishing a couple hours. We ended up fishing the entire day until the sun was going down. <laughs> Vince landed one, and once he told me there were multiple fish in this pool, I was like, well, <laughs> only one thing to do double Let's up. Double up. Yes, dude. Oh, we're dubbed, we're dubbed. We're dubbed, we're dubbed. <laughs> oh. No, he'll, he'll find his way back. Check that out. Let's oh, go. there he goes, dude. That was so epic. Nice. That was so sick. The remainder of the day was a little bit of enjoying the graffiti and natural artwork that Mother Nature collides with industry and urbanization in Jersey. This stream, though, I mean, huh. geez. All these little inflows, the beautiful crystal clear water, rocky banks, the creek was transitioning from farmland at the beginning of the day to like a little more mountainous up here. Dream day of fishing. And we were like five miles from the car now. So uh, we got lucky, Vince's grandma picked us up, drove us back, so a special shout out to her. And uh, we ended the day off fishing a different spot. Man, what a good time getting out here. Our first fishing trip, Vince and I. Big shout out to Vince for, for the awesome day out here. Till next time. Keep
Pond Senate. Dude, Pond Bass, and I love it, dude. This is like. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention it. <laughs> Right at the town of the day, we went back for those big fish Vince lost, and I was fishing this little retention pond on the side of the golf course, and I made a joke, like, yo, maybe I'll catch a wild brown. Look what happens. If this is an inspiration to you, I don't know what it is. I'll catch you in the next one. Dude, imagine there's a 20-pound brown in here, cruising around. I mean, this time of year, I, I could see some browns coming in here, just like, oh my god, dude. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish. 100%. Got him. Trout? Got him as a trout. No way. In the <laughs> pond? In the pond. <laughs> no chance. Oh, I love it, dude. Watch if I step in here, I'm probably going to sink through like quicksand. Yeah. Dude. Is it a brown? Yep. Yeah, a little brown. That's crazy. It's a beautiful one. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. I, I thought that was such a shot in the dark, and then there was actually yeah. fish in here. Look. Show them where it connects to the creek. Dude, these fish are actually coming into the creek. Oh! <laughs> Trout flop into the pond. Let's go, dude. Maybe there's another one. <laughs>